look at surface area of a prism. But a, prisms are all different based on their base. So let's look at this prism. We have to decide what kind of base it has. Well, what two sides are parallel to each other? It's the triangular sides. That means this one is a triangular prism, and that's how you classify them. So I'll write that down, triangular prism. Okay, that should help us because that tells me that the base is this triangle. So I'm just going to highlight that. That is my base. Okay, and I need to know that before I start my formula. Now to find the surface area. I have two parts. I have my lateral area and then I have my base areas. The lateral area would be these three sides that are not parallel to each other. It's the, it's the part of the um, prism. If I stood it in, up on its side, that would be the height. So you got to kind of think about flipping this prism around. Okay, so my lateral area are these three sides, which are all rectangles. And then my base areas are these two triangles, because remember the bases are the parallel sides. So I've got to take this lateral area and I'm going to add a top base and a bottom base to get the whole surface area. So let's start cranking it out here. Okay, to find the lateral area, I need P, it's P times H, and P in this case is the perimeter of the base. So let's go to the base and look at the perimeter. Well, the perimeter, I'm going to take 16 plus 12 plus this side is 20, so this side must be 20. So that means I'm going to add those three sides for the perimeter. So 16, whoops, let's clear that. 16 plus 12 plus 20. That's going to give me 48. So my perimeter is 48. Now what is the height? The height we're talking about is the height of the uh, prism. So this is the height of the prism. If I flipped it up, it would be 10 tall. Okay, so that's 10. So that's 480 centimeters squared for my lateral area. Now we need to go and find our base areas. Okay, in this case, our bases are triangles, so you've just got to think of this not as part of the prism. Let's go over here and just draw the triangle for a moment. We're just looking at an isolated triangle that is 16 tall and 12 wide, and we're not going to use the hypotenuse for the area formula. We're just going to do 1 half base times height. So I'm going to take 1 half of the base, well the base is 12, and the height is 16. So half of 12 is 6, and 6 times 16, let's grab a calculator, 6 times 16, that's going to give me 96. So one base area is 96. That accounts for one of these. But I, remember, I have two of these. So I'm going to have to take that 96, and I'm going to have to double it. So let's multiply that 96 times 2 and that gives me 192. So that accounts for both base areas. Now what do I do? Well, I have the lateral area. I have accounted for both base areas, and I just add those two to get together to get the total surface area. So I'll take 480 plus 192, and that's going to give me what? 2. 17, carry the 1, 6, 72 square centimeters. And remember, area is always units squared. Hope this video was helpful, and I hope this formula, if you can use it, and substitute in what your different bases are here, and then just double those to find the surface area.